Hello, compression pedals. I've never used them. Uh, I've tried a few. They always alter the tone to something that I didn't like. Perhaps uh, I uh, dialed them in, in in the wrong way or I had them in uh, the wrong place in the signal chain. It was the wrong compressor pedal, the wrong tie. Uh, I don't know. But lately I've noticed that a lot of uh, guitar players that I tend to like, they use uh, a compressor pedal in their single chain. And some of them are even having them as always on pedals. So that made me curious and uh, I thought that I need to check it out for myself to, to see if it can do any good. What I'm hoping for is really that um, a compressor pedal will uh, take me more fluently from note to note. If I can have that without um, that it affects the tone, uh, that would be a beauty. I, ended up with uh, this uh, guy here it is the fat general from torpy yeah they even have a drawing of how he looks he looks like this i need to just plug it in play it and uh, i'll run uh, through the features of it while i do so yes so here we are um I'll be using my 335 for this uh, test and uh, this is my um, clone of uh, a Dumbo or a, really a Fuchs uh, ODS 50 watts playing through a speaker cabinet with a 12 inch uh, Eminence Cannabis Rex. So that, that, this is really my rig and I, I, I'm testing with the sounds that I, I use the most. So um, with a clean sound, if I just play a little Introduce the the compressor. Uh, I can't say that this reminds me of any compressor I've used before. It sounds good. So we have this blend or juice knob. So when it's in blend, it will blend uh, the dry signal here. It should be more or less dry. And uh, adding more and more compression at the, the further up we go. And the volume will also rise uh, as I do that. So yeah, maybe a good idea to turn it on. <laughs> So I can hear it is compressing uh, more now. That's the typical. Uh, it's uh, it's compressing. But I think yeah, uh, let's put it to the max of the compression. A bit uh, loud, yeah, but um, it didn't even then, it didn't get uh, to that uh, typical compression sound that I expect to hear from a compressor. But uh, I can say that uh, if we play, if we uh, switch to juice, the juice mode is pure compression. So if I turn this down, there will be no sound. So as I go up, you can hear it's very compressed now. So 
I'm not gonna use it in the um, pure compression mode or the juice mode. I, I, I want to use it in the blend. Uh, I, I like to have the, the clean sound in as well, or the dry signal, I mean. So that's uh, more or less dry. Uh, so. so volume wise I can hear that it kicks in around here. And uh, there's also these two knobs, uh, there's a sustain. Uh, all the way opposite is yeah so it, it sustains for longer I guess I'm not sure it's very obvious. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. But I'm I'm uh, very new to compressors, so I'm not sure what to expect here. I was uh, imagining that uh, more sustain would make the notes stay even longer, but um, maybe I need to add more of the, the blend knob in. I think that's the trick here. And you can hear also, I'm not sure if you can pick it up, but the noise levels are also rising. So the compression will lead to that. Everything gets uh, louder, also the noise. So if you have a noisy single chain, um, that will of course uh, uh, be noticeable uh, when, when everything is compressed. Yeah, so it's... Uh, but I think I'll keep the sustain uh, high up and the compression a bit uh, lower than I had just now. I can definitely hear that it's uh, doing something. So I'm turning it on. Last knob is the treble. It's uh, without it. Full up. So sadding, uh, I think I, I pick up that it's uh, adding a kind of a sparkle on the top there. So I'm adding the Sweet Honey Overdrive now. So just the overdrive. And with the compressor. It's a bit uh, louder, so I, I like to keep the settings, but I will go a bit down on the guitar. I think I'll add more of the treble. Without Well, 
let's play a little with my favorite settings. I add the things that I usually do, and that's uh, the super trem tremolo. Now I have a little uh, delay from my El Capistan. So I'll, I'll throw in a, an Octavia to, to see how that sounds. Let's hear it without the uh, compressor. It does something that I like. It's uh, I've chosen to have it uh, in front of uh, my overdrives. Uh, I tested it uh, briefly to have it after. I didn't think it was uh, a huge difference, uh, but uh, it felt better when it was before. So I just chose to have it there. I think this is something I will need to get used to. Uh, it's it's so new to me to have uh, a compressor pedal. Uh, but as I feel now, it, I think it feels very good to play with it. it. It's definitely helping me go from note to note more fluently as I want it. It seems a, a bit more fun to play, uh, actually. So, uh, yeah, it might just because it's new and I, I very much want to like it. And uh, so, yeah. So, what's the conclusion? I think uh, I need to play it more. First impression is that it's uh, doing something that I like, but I have to do it for a longer period to, to uh, really find out. Because when I engage it, uh, something happens uh, and makes me play differently. Uh, so, so that's perhaps uh, the reason that I think I need to experience it for a longer period. This one uh, sounds good to me. So um, yeah, that's all I can say for now. I, I hope uh, it was also useful for you if you are looking for uh, one of these. Um, definitely try it. Uh, I can't uh, really uh, dial in any uh, tones that I don't like. Maybe if I had it in juice mode and, and pushed the compressor only uh, without blending the dry signal, there was uh, some obvious uh, uh, compression sounds, if you like. Um, but um, if using it like I do now in, um, in the blend with the dry signal, uh, it sounds good to me. The notes, uh, the, each note is um, uh, sounds more even. First impressions are very positive for me. It, it is. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Bye for now. Thank you.